We are deeply sorry for the impact that this attack had. But we are also heartened by the resilience of our country and of our company. Finally, I want to address two additional issues that I know are on your minds, and I'm going to address them the only way I know how, directly and honestly. First, the ransom payment. I made the decision to pay, and I made the decision to keep the information about the payment as confidential as possible. It was the hardest decision I've made in my 39 years in the energy industry, and I know how critical our pipeline is to the country, and I put the interests of the country first. I kept the information closely held because we were concerned about operational safety and security, and we wanted to stay focused on getting the pipeline back up and running. I believe with all my heart, it was the right choice to make. But I want to respect those who see this issue differently. I also now state publicly that we quietly and quickly worked with the law enforcement in this matter from the start, which may have helped lead to the substantial recovery of funds announced by the DOJ this week. Second, we are further hardening our cyber defenses. We have rebuilt and restored our critical IT systems and are continuing to enhance our safeguards. But we are not where I want us to be. If our CIO needs resources, she will get them. We have also brought in several of the world's leading experts to help us fully understand what happened and how we can continue in partnership with you to add defenses and resiliency to our networks. I especially want to thank Mandiant, Dragos, and Black Hills on the consultant side, in the White House, and all the government agencies who assisted us both with the criminal investigation and with the restart of the pipeline. We are already working to implement the recent guidance and directives on cybersecurity. Our forensic work continues, and we will learn more in the months ahead. I appreciate your support and look forward to our discussion today.